Hello and welcome to this quick tip. My name is John Chalveris. In this quick tip, we're going to be talking about 720p, 1080i, 1080p. What does it all mean? And more importantly, what does it mean in terms of a camera and any sort of content creation? So the first thing we're going to need to do is figure out what the number means, the 1080 or the 720. These two numbers refer to the resolution. Both the 1080 and 720 refer to an HD resolution. As you can see here, your old school TV had a resolution of 720 by 486 pixels, and it's the green box. The 720 resolution is the yellow box, and the 1080 resolution is the blue box. So a 1080 image packs more pixels and more detail in the same amount of space as the 720 and 486. And the 720 packs more pixels in, in resolution and detail than the 486. So now that we have a sense of the two numbers, 720 and 1080, referring to the resolution of either the screen or the camera, the amount of detail. Let's move on to the I and the P, a little more complicated to grasp. I stands for interlace and P stands for progressive. Both these terms are referring to how the image is displayed on the screen. Interlace images are actually not shown all at once. They're shown in parts. Now, they're broken down into two parts, the odd fields and the even fields, essentially sections. And these sections are displayed individually, but they're done so quick that our eyes perceive one image. They're done at 1 60th of a second each field alternating. So every 1 30th of a second, we get one image. Interlacing does work for the most part, except when subjects are moving very, very fast. As you can see in this example, the skateboard is moving so quickly between one field to the other field in that 1 60th of a second that it is showing half the fields in one position and the other fields in the other position. So we get this interlacing look of two skateboards and two feet for the subject. Progressive images, on the other hand, display the image all at once. The downside to this is that it takes a lot of memory and a lot of processing power for the cameras and the televisions to display progressive images. The last thing to remember is that when referring to progressive and interlace, you can have progressive images in 720 and 1080, but only 1080 is interlaced. So you can have 1080p and 1080i, but you do not have 720i. You only have 720p. Now, while there are many factors into buying a camera, and this quick tip certainly hasn't answered all your questions, hopefully you're one step closer to navigating the array of different choices for cameras, and you're one step closer to understanding and picking the right camera for producing wonderful content.